as a nine-year-old, I went with some kids from school down to Geelong Amateurs, and they used to train outside the Geelong football ground. And I met a long-time mate there, Greg Wells, who I played with all the way through my footy career, basically. Um, there was no, there was under 15s, under 18s, and seniors. So as a nine-year-old, you're getting whacked every week. You're getting knocked over. Um, by the time we got to um, top age under 16, we were doing the same back to them. We won a flag in 1966. Out of that team um, at Geelong Amateurs, at least three of us played league football, and half of them played seconds and under 19s, and that was quite a good side. Uh, from there, at the age of 15, I don't know how I got down to Geelong, I think they had tryouts. Um, so I played there uh, from the age of 15 in 68 to um, 1973. Um, we played in an, an under-19 grand final in 1970 against Richmond, which we lost. Um, it's amazing that under-19 year we played um, opposite the, the seniors, so we played at Essendon while Essendon played at Geelong. Um, we played again we, uh, in front of mums and dads, a um, few trainers and a couple of supporters. The day we played the grand final, um, by the time we finished our game, there were 75,000 people, I estimated. That was just, that was, that was a hell of a, a thrill. Um, uh, 73, we played in a, a grand final in the seconds, which I actually got dropped that day. Um, they had, as they did, they brought back a whole heap of senior players and a few of us missed out. Uh, we lost that game too. Um, from there, Bill Goggin asked me in 74 to come down to, to, Geelong, uh, to Geelong West, which was just the best thing that could have happened. Um, there were 14 of us, I think, that came down. And we'd all been playing together since the late 60s. So from 119 through to the seconds and then to Geelong, to Geelong West. We, um, you know, we had a really good relationship even before we got to John West. Uh, the highlight of that, that year was, um, of course, the 75 flag. Um, we lost the 79 flag um, to Coburg, which we don't think much about these days. But the 75 flag was just the best year we ever had. Um, uh, the guys that played there, uh, as I said, all, all mates, we all got along really well. Um, they uh, respect, as I heard some people say, but we all respected everybody, the coaches, the staff. Um, and the guys we played with, um, we really formed a good bond. And we had a 40-year reunion just recently, and I think everybody but four people who, was, who were either sick or overseas made it, and just the same, but it was really good. Uh, after Geelong West, I went to St Peter's in the Geelong Football League. Uh, we played in a championship the first year I was there in 1981. We got promoted to the, um, that was in the Geelong District Football League. We got promoted the next year to the Geelong Football League and we played in a grand final that next year which um, we lost to a team, Newtown. Um, both, we had both good sides. We lost a few players through suspension and injury. Um, I, know they, I know they lost a couple of players through injury and uh, they were just too good for us uh, that, that day, so we lost that. Um, then after Geelong West, I moved to Oxley, just outside of Wangaratta, and I played with Millua for a, for a season. Um, and that was basically the end of my career then. Uh, the highlights, again, as I said, was the, the 75 flag, our championship in 81. Um, I played uh, VFA, state rep side in 77. Um, I think I even come about third or fourth on the list in 77. Um, I was a life member at Geelong West, which most of the guys here who played 100 games um, are. And uh, it was just a good, good time to be playing football. As a footballer, I <laughs> was a, a good mark. I was blessed with a pair of big hands and long arms. So I was able to mark the ball really well. Um, I thought I was quite creative with my handball. Uh, I was slow, um, but the guys I played on who were resting Ruckman maybe looked quite fast. So um, I could read the play, I thought, quite well. Played most of the time as a forward, as a junior, until I got to Geelong West where they put me in the back line. And I think I played about 130 games straight. 
without missing a game. The football club means a lot to me, or it did then. Um, not so much now, because I don't watch football, I don't come down, down here at all. But then we were here four days a week with a bunch of great guys, some, um, uh, some very good people looking after us, coaches, staff, um, the, um, the camaraderie here was terrific. Like in this room, we'd have two or three hundred people of a Sunday night just here to um, wish us the best. So the amount of time we spent here um, was a worthwhile time. We saw, we all went to the same things, we did the same things. We went to people's weddings, we went to people's engagements. We had uh, whatever was going, we all did it together. And again, it was just a really good time of our lives. The hardest guy I played on was Travis Pose. He was just strong, tough. You, you, you couldn't tackle him. Uh, and he just kept going. Uh, as full forwards, Athel Hodgetts was probably the best because he just kept running away from me all the time. Fred Cook, he was good. I could outmark Fred. We had a lot of good marking duels together. Um, the guys I saw play, uh, Wayne Johnson, he kicked eight goals against us one day. Ray Shaw um, kicked a lot of goals against us. Um, some big guys too, Stretch Anderson was very good, um, Howard Martin was good and there were a lot of, a lot of tough guys in those days and big guys. I played on all the big resting forward pockets, or just the resting ruckman in the, in the forward pocket. Luckily they, was, they, they had run out of puff by the time they got to me and made, again made me look fast. Football was pretty tough, um, you know, I had one umpire to control the whole thing and so there's a lot of stuff going on behind the plate. Um, our forwards copped a lot of it because they were, they were, um, they were quite good at it, and they just used to get hit. I remember Tony Gilmore getting whacked nearly every week. Greg Wells was getting whacked. Jared Dodger, was, he was getting just pushed around. But they were good enough to um, overcome all that. Um, I know our back line. We had a really good back six, and we dished a lot out of it ourselves. Um, I thought we were pretty fair with what we did, but. You know, there's, there was a lot of stuff going on behind the play which you just, you would die at now. So it just wouldn't happen these days. I was lucky enough to be captain of Geelong West in 77. I don't know how that happened. Um, I think Warwick Yates had a, a fallout with Stuart Lord that, that year. Um, then when I went to St Peter's, I was lucky enough to captain at St Peter's. And as far as I know, I'm the only person that has captained both clubs, St Peter's, Geelong West, Geelong West St Peter's. So, um, I'm pretty proud of that. You've given your heart to get here And your soul to get it right You can take them boots and all oh, But it's sure gonna take a fight When you spend all week getting to your peak You're gonna have your say You bet on Sunday, it's the BFA. It's Sunday, you're gonna make your play for the BFA. Today, you're gonna fly. It's Sunday for the BFA. It's Sunday, yes, Sunday. It's Sunday for the BFA. It's Sunday.